obviously congratulations on your win today. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the award that you've won and the film that you've uh, won it for? Well, uh, the category we were wearing was Best Documentary for Under 12 um, and our, film, our short film was called Hear Me Roar. Wasn't, it wasn't initially my title, I think it was decided by uh, the members of the group, but I, I came to love it, the title. And basically, it was a kind of strange production story actually because we weren't planning on, on making it basically about me. <laughs> it, was, it was more about um, something I do in my spare time, or more pr practically a job actually, as a member of youth parliament for the UK Youth Parliament, which is this uh, large dem uh, democratic group of young, uh, elected young people all over the UK. And originally we were uh, going to make it about um, UK, UK Youth Parliament because it's uh, an amazing organisation that does amazing things. But as we spent time with the wonderful filmmaker we worked with, Annabelle McCourt of uh, Cut Limited, um, she came to I think, see things in me that would work as an interesting idea for a documentary. And as it went on and on, it became a lot of, uh, a lot of sound bites from me, a lot of just um, strange images that, um, you know, some incoherent, incoherent Jackson Pollock style, style cinematography. And it came together to basically just be about being a teenager outside of the status quo of what is popular, what is cool, what is attractive, things like that. And that's, uh, that's pretty much my summary of Hear Me Roar. Uh, how about yourself, girls? How have you found the experience of this? Yeah, it was really good. Really good for confidence building and learning about the film. Really good. Yeah, I mean, I, d I do a lot of sort of award shows, but coming to Interfilm to sort of present an award for young people has been incredible. And to be in a room full of young people who are just outshining everyone constantly and the work they do is amazing. It's been, it's been a really eye-opening day for myself. It's like, maybe I should be doing to that. step up your game. Yeah. <laughs> is this something generally you would all like to do full-time later on in the future? Not really. But <laughs> <laughs> um, Honestly, if I could be a filmmaker or an actor or a director, I would I would love that. That would be a dream. As I have I have a deep love for cinema and the moving picture, and I do view it as an art form. And to engage in that, that would be amazing. So uh, any any filmmakers who want to employ me, uh, <laughs> uh, you can have my card. Alexa, Kieran, obviously you're both obviously professionals within the industry already, yeah. uh, and you've obviously already had both your own journeys uh, uh, through this path. Uh, what advice do you plan on giving to young people that we've, that we've seen here today? Um, well what I think is brilliant about the initiative is, is teaching the kids that they work as a team and that they can actually use the technology we have these days to keep making their own content and keep their own voices alive and keep creative one day at a time in their own lives. It's very easy within the business to feel like you have to wait for projects to come along and that, and that but actually more than ever We've got, we've got the facilities and the kids have got the imagination and hopefully they're being shown and taught here today that you, if you have an idea, you can make something and you can do it and then you can move on. And as long as they keep making it and keep that enthusiasm and, and that freedom and that joy, I think the industry here in Britain is going to really thrive. It's, it's a brilliant initiative. Yeah, I mean, I think these people, these young people have been given the best start thanks to initiatives like Interfilm and the people that are helping, people like Cut Limited. Um, so my only advice would just be keep going and just carry on, carry on making. Making is important because I think as an actor, which obviously you two are not like, um, you tend to sort of slow down a bit, but then to make your own work is amazing.